degree attached to them doctrine degree is religion. There's a whole lot of religion. You'd be surprised that people that were brought up in a word of faith church, and once they go up under that religious schooling, yep. they turn from that. They sure do. I know I know people that have uh, spoken tongues, mm -hmm. and once they got up under that religious teacher, teacher start coming against it. And then I'm thinking, if you say it ain't real, then what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you see what I'm saying? But that's how, that's, you know, so, so the enemy would try to use stuff like that to keep you from doing what God has called you to do. He tried to use that with me. But see, it's always a, a, a word of God to encourage. One of my scriptures is Luke 12, verse 11 and 12, when it says, don't worry about what you're going to say when you come before people. But the Holy Spirit should yes, tell you yes. what to yes, say. Yes, yes. And for a month, when I first started teaching, I would quote that before I started teaching. And and now I walk right up to a person and teach. You know, I would walk. I walk right up. To, I used to. I used to want to look at a person. Now I look a little right in the eye. Walk up to the chair. Yes. You know? bold that's bold. That's right. because, and that's part of the power of God. If you read uh, Acts one and eight. And you uh, read it from the Amplified Bible. One of those is one of the things that we, he gives us is boldness. Right. He gives us boldness so that we can do because you need boldness. Yeah. You need boldness because some of the things that you're gonna have to say and do gonna require boldness. Mm -hmm. But you have it on the inside of you. But fear restricts you from operating. Yes. Are y'all all right with that? Yeah. All right. Back to the story. In verse 14, the writer said that Jesus took on flesh and blood and became human. Jesus had to become human so that he could destroy the devil's power over death. You know, he couldn't die as God. He had to put on human flesh so he can die. That's right. Because he is spirit. Spirits can't die. So he had to put on flesh and blood so that he can die. And some people say, well, he God, he didn't die. You better hope he died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because in his resurrection, he defeated death. Yes, okay. Okay. So you better hope he was dead. And he took Satan out of the way. Yes, he did. <laughs> he didn't go down to hell defeated. He went down to hell in victory. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He went down there and took the keys from the devil. He went down there and said, look at the devil, you got to get up. I'm here now. I'm in the house now. The, the, the keys of death belong to me. And here's the good news. What belongs to him belongs to us. Thank you, Lord. We have the power of death and life. And where is it? In our tongue. In our mouth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Only through becoming a human could Christ deliver us from the constant fear of death. The Living Bible reads, verse 14, it says, Since we, God's children, are human beings made of flesh and blood, he became flesh and blood too by being born in human form. For only as a human being could he die, and in dying break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in that way could he deliver those who through fear of death have been living all their lives as slaves to constant dread or fear. We were slaves to fear. I, I always shared my story with you where the bully used to run. All that's fear. <laughs> now I'm a bully runner. I run the devil. Because he's the author. He's the, he's, the, he's the bully behind all the other bullies. Right. Yeah. So if you get to the root of the matter of the bully, you you instead of attack, attacking the person, you attack that spirit behind him. And, and if you attack that spirit behind him, you'll run the bully. He's scared of you. He's scared of God that's in you. But he'll make you think, he'll, he'll, he'll deceive you into where you'll be afraid of him. You got churches that teach, man, the devil is so powerful. He ain't nothing. Can't right. call him a slew footed devil. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't nothing. He's been declawed, declawed defeated, right. and defamed. He can't even bite you. <laughs> the Bible says he go around like right. a roaring lion. Right. He's not a roaring lion, 
he likes one. He, he, he's putting up a farce like he is, you know. That, <laughs> that'd be like if, if somebody's standing behind their door and, and, and they think somebody's breaking in. And, and they got, you know, they got these fake dog sounds, dog barking. And, and they'll play that. It sounds like it's a dog back there. <laughs> but it's not really a dog back there. It's, a, it's that machine making the noise. That's what the devil is. He may sound like he's all that, but he's nothing. That's why he so, works so hard at deceiving you, because he needs a body to work through. He needs somebody to work for him. And as believers, we don't have to yield to that. That's right. He can't hurt you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I was going to say something, but I don't know if you're ready for that again. I say it. You want me to say it? Give us the meat, brother. Yeah. Give us the meat. Do you want the meat? <laughs> yes, sir. Are you going to get rid of that? Y'all got some good choppers? Yes, sir. Yes. He can't even kill you. He sure can. He can't kill you. He sure can. Unless you position yourself and allow him to do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. If he's been defeated, if he's been destroyed, and he has no power, and the power of death has been taken from him, how is he going to kill you? That's right. That's right. Unless you let him. Think about it. Mm -hmm. He came to steal, kill, and destroy, but right. Jesus came that you may have life. Right. And the life that Jesus brought is more powerful than the devil trying that's to steal. Good. Yeah, all right. That's good. That's revelation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He can't do it. Praise the Lord. Unless we position ourselves. That's why we got people like uh, Kenneth 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 Hayden. 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 Kenneth Hayden. Mm -hmm. Who <laughs> just was ready to go home. The devil tried to kill him at 16. Yep. Couldn't do it. Nope. Kenneth stayed here until he was ready to go home. Yep. He told his wife goodbye, he ate him some breakfast, yep. sat out in his chair and went home. Right. Yep. But at 16, the devil tried to take him out. But he can't. Do you know, think about this. I'm going to show you that the power of the devil is taken away. If it was possible, he would kill you before you got saved. Right. Too late. <laughs> he has no power. None. God. God has made him powerless. God has caused him to be powerless. Hallelujah. I told you this is a meat now. And some of us, you know, a religious spirit will leave out of him. Boy, he crazy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he out of his mind. <laughs> and you know what? I got to agree with you there. Because I'm out of my mind and I'm in the mind of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen.